Here we have a 2007 Audi A4 Cabriolet, a longitudinally mounted 2 litre turbo FSI petrol engine. Uh, the fault was lack of power under load, i.e. going up a hill, hard throttling, obviously two and a half thousand revs up over it, it was holding back slightly. Codes that were stored in it was fuel rail system pressure low, it's P0087, low limit reached. Uh, on a lot of research we found out that the high pressure fuel pump uh, is prone for actually drilling through the tappet which runs on the camshaft. Uh, you can see it's ran completely through the tappet, camshaft lobe goes round, works on this tappet which obviously pushes this plunger in, increases the pressure, electronically controlled, pressure sensor there on the pump. So the electronic pump is the scavenger pump in the tank, pumps the petrol up to here, cam lobe is located in the back of there, it spins round, works a bit like a PD diesel injector. High pressure pump pumps it to the rail, injectors are obviously right down in there somewhere. Uh, so basically this was uh, going off a bit of research um, and a visual inspection of the actual pump you can see. Like I said, it's gone completely through the tappet. And the other thing is as well, obviously it's been rubbing for a while on the camshaft lobe which is down inside that hole there. It's a good thing to check to see if this is worn. Obviously metal on metal when it, that bucket's rubbed through it's caused a bit of damage to that as well. So I would probably advise for the camshaft to be replaced, um, which is obviously time and belt off, new time belt kit front end off on this particular model. So uh, basically we've got all the new parts here, new tappet, new connectors. This is a one-way uh, valve on the fuel rail which goes back to the tank. We're going to replace that just to, as, as a good measure. A lot of the pipes that run from this pump go through that, so while it's all off, it's best to replace it. That's obviously the new pump um, and a few different connectors and that interchangeable connectors that we can change over. Yeah, so here you can see where the cam lobe's actually rubbed uh, through the bucket. Eventually it's gone through the bucket and it started rubbing away at the end of this. Every time it's come round a little bit more, a little bit more and a little bit more. Obviously the, the negative uh, repercussions from this will be all a bit of metal and obviously iron filings have gone into the, uh, the oil. oil. Obviously the oil fills will have caught a lot of the big ones, um, but you may have uh, very small particles that have gone through. Um, so it's going to be a case of regular oil changes on this for the next couple of months to obviously try and limit the damage that these particles can do to the engine. Uh, they obviously they will be abrasive and mixed with oil and that and you know they're going to cause wet, accelerated wear on a lot of the components on the engine.